Hello again and welcome back YouTube. Today we are really looking forward to the launch of Blight that's happening in I want to say like 14 to 16 hours. I don't really know. We have gone with we've got two build guides for Blight launch. One of them is the ED Contagion Trickster that we had done a build guide for last league has been modified and polished up to the new tree. You can see we will go through every single act in the path of building. And as a special little treat, we're launching the website, which has only two pages on it right now that are functional, but they are for the two build guides. So I will have a link to all of this below, but we will have all of the videos that were in there all of the gem setups and then leveling act by act in what you're supposed to do in all of these i believe they're called accordions uh so we've got that one i tested ed contagion with its new area on contagion before deciding to update this it is still way more than functional it is incredibly good still i'm still very happy with this as a strong league starter the minor nerfs that happened to trickster this league are not enough to ruin the build at all and not enough to ruin trickster at all everything is still perfectly good on it then the one i'm excited about more is divine Iya totems that is the new build guide that we did this league divine Iya totems i personally tested in a league start scenario the moment I hit maps, it was on a four link still with garbage gear, full league start solo self found style gear, and it was obliterating uh, maps and map bosses and everything. The clear is quite respectable, the boss damage is disgusting. I have gone through again all of the acts act by act. Now, these guides are specifically aimed at new less experienced players so something i want to point out right here in this video is that some things i have done in this build guide i would not have personally done myself being an experienced player and many others won't for instance taking ancestral bond and becoming a dual totem build by the end of act two is not really something i would do i would have continued on using Stormbrand and one totem until somewhere around between act three and five ish probably uh, until i felt like i needed it without hindrance but the idea of this is to be as simple to follow as i could get it while still being very effective and taking ancestral bond early while it technically would slow down an experienced player your less experienced players are not taking full advantage of onslaught so and even if they were using Onslaught properly, getting an extra 20% move speed isn't really going to help that much. It, if, it, if it only shaves, you know, 10 minutes off your time and it takes you 12 or 15 hours to level, it's not worth the extra hassle of keeping that in for those new players. So for your more experienced player, I would suggest just, you know, looking at the end game or the, and the maybe end of Act 10 tree so that you have a rough idea of what to do and then going about your own business. But for the less experienced players, we've done the same thing here on the website, which again, I will link below. We've got intros. These two videos right here will be replaced with this video I'm recording. Those are just stand-ins, but by the time this video goes live, there will be a link to them here. Everything else is done. We've got paste bins. We've got all of the links you will need. We've got information on all of the gear, the flasks, the jewels. Pantheons are somewhere. There they are. And then again, we have act by act progression in every single act, including what gems to buy from vendors, what gems to take from rewards when you get them, screenshots of the passive trees in case you happen to be on mobile devices and you don't want to Come on, load. Okay, I promise they load. They have a small problem with incognito mode right now. I don't know what that is, but they load when you're not in incognito mode. So yeah, screenshots of all the passive trees, 
throughout all of the acts uh, and hopefully all of the information you need. Uh, so those are the two builds that I'm going to suggest people start with if you don't know what to start with and you're new to the game. These are two build guides that will work fantastically well. I've personally done tested them both and very happy with them. Uh, I will personally be starting as a minion build. However, I don't really have a set tree and I don't really have any idea what minions I'll be using. I'm going to be winging it all as I go, which means I'm not going to be putting out a build guide for it before the league starts because I have no idea what kind of minions I'm going to have. So definitely follow if you want to see what the minion build ends up being but otherwise there will be links to the path of buildings here if that is all you need and links to the website if you need more below the video that is all i am going to get an early night tonight and then be up early in the morning a few hours before league launch to get everything else sorted so i will see everybody in the blight league I am super excited for tower defense. I am Baylor Mage and I will see everybody later.